the replay. Hey you guys, it's Jen with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen, independent designer with Chalk Couture. As you guys come on, please make sure you say hello. I would love to welcome you. If you are catching me live, you will see the big red live box in the upper left corner. That means we can chat live right here on Facebook. If you guys are catching me on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe to my channel for all the fun crafty videos coming this spring summer season. And you guys, the greatest compliment you could give me is a share. I would love it if you would share this video in the bottom left corner of your mobile devices is a share button. Share it with your family and friends. Share it into any groups you might belong to. Let's just share the Chalk Couture love. Hey guys, how are you? Happy, um, happy Tuesday. I'm better. Like, let me tell you, I am like 90% better. I've got my tissues in case I need them. I got my water in case I need that. But I know I haven't chalked with you guys in a couple days because we've had the fluness here. It's miserable. I'm just telling you, it's miserable. So at least you can't catch it through the screen, which is super cool. Hey, Michelle, welcome. But for those of you that are new, Welcome so much. Thanks for tuning in. This is a really fun DIY home decor business. Let me throw this up on my screen. Let me tell you really quick. We are a DIY home decor and crafting company and you won't find our products anywhere else except through designers like myself. We have these super cool silk screen reusable transfers. We have our Chalkology chalk paste and we have Couture inks. Now we do offer several services like chalkboards, box wood frames, beautiful whiteboards. We have canvas banners and pillowcases, but you guys, this can be done on wood, glass, tin, canvas, t-shirts, dish towels, cardstock. The list can go on and on. The greatest thing that I can offer to you though is a DIY home decor business. And let me tell you, we are looking for leaders all across the U.S., so whether you're crafty or not, whether you've ever done this industry or not, just give me a hashtag join if you are interested in learning more about being a designer. <coughs> Sorry. It is available in the U.S. for $99 and in Canada for $129. And like I said, if you want to learn more, I will definitely get you that information. So let me get this up on my screen and get started before I cannot talk anymore, right? Oh my goodness. So you guys, make sure you share, like, and comment. I would love to interact with you right here on Facebook. Let me put that aside. So we're gonna do a couple things tonight. First off, I wanna show you guys something. So this is actually one of our box frames. Feeling a little bit better. I mean, let me tell you, I'm feeling like 90% better than what I was, but it was just flat out crazy like it was like I did not move off of the sofa or the bed okay like that crazy so you guys this is a box frame that you guys have seen me chalk on okay one thing about our box frame and any type of wooden surface it is a porous surface okay usually if you wax them sometimes you can get the chalk paste off so I want to show you something um, that I actually had done the other day so let's say you have a design on one of our box frames and you're like, oh, well, I don't really like that anymore. I kind of want to change it. What can you do, right? And again, I truly apologize to you guys as we go along if I cough or blow my nose. I truly apologize. Um, chalk paste is water soluble semi-permanent. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get this wet. And like I said, any type of wooden surface, they are usually a one-time use, but this was just kind of an idea. I thought, well, hey, you can always repurpose something. And this actually works pretty good, okay? So I'm just getting that wet. I'm gonna let that sit for a second or two here. And I'm just getting my little board, board scraper, you guys. I don't know if you guys have seen me use this thing yet. This thing is the coolest thing ever. This is our new tool that we just came out with. I mean, like literally, check it out, you guys. Like that is the coolest tool I have ever seen. Whoever created this at Chalk Couture, like kudos to you. This thing is super cool, okay? So we're just scraping off our chalk paste right now, okay? 
The water has soaked in a little bit. I can let it sit a little bit longer, but for time purposes, I'm just gonna put a little bit more arm work, put a little more muscle into this one. Because I want you to like, don't think if you buy a box frame that it, it's a one-time use, because I'm gonna show you what you can do if this ever happens, right? So, got my little scraper. I'm gonna just throw that in my water because again, it's reusable. I'm gonna take my paper towel or Clorox wipe, whatever you wanna use. I'm gonna need some more paper towels. It's more like it. Get some paper towels. Okay. So I'm just gonna wipe this off. And as you can see, there is ghosting because again, it's wood, it's porous. That is what happens, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna spray it down again with a little bit of water. I am gonna get another wipe, a Clorox wipe. This is just what seems to work for me. Okay, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of a Clorox wipe. And I'm sorry if I'm shaking the camera. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my board eraser. You guys, board erasers are great for ghosting. And check it out. Okay, now there are some of our chalk paste that have very, very high pigments. Okay, black is one, red is one, orange is one. They are very, very hard to get out. Now, I probably wax the surface, so that's why this is coming out for me, okay? So if for some reason it did not come out like this, all you would have to do, you guys, is paint it. All you have to do is paint your surface, and I just want to show you. This was one I painted, right? So I did this technique that I just showed you. You spray it, you scrape it, you get your board eraser and your Clorox wipes, and you're going to just go over this just like that, okay? Just like that. I'm going to throw my board eraser in my water. Let me get some paper towels here. And look, you guys, I have a new surface in our box frame. All right, that I can reuse. That is the beauty of the chalk paste. Now, example, if I wasn't able to get this out, all I'm going to do is paint this, you guys. You're just going to get some paint, and I'm going to go ahead and do this for you. This one I already painted black. But it was the one that said be mine. I don't know if you guys remember that uh, when I did that one. So this one actually said be mine. So this was where the, the word be was. And I, oh, oh my goodness, I'm looking for my paintbrush. So I did this exact technique that I showed you. And then I'm just going to take some chalk paint. Oh my gosh, sorry, I didn't open it yet. I thought this one was open. Oh my gosh, I am so weak, you guys. I swear to you, this is insane. Holy mackerel, Batman. All right, I gotta use my handy dandy scissors because this is like insane. Okay. Yeah, I used my teeth, sorry. I know you shouldn't do that. That's not good for your teeth, but I did it anyway. All right. Oh, my goodness. Look, I'm getting paint all over me. Oi, yo, yo. Okay? And then you're just going to dip your brush in there, and you guys, paint your surface. Just paint it. Right? And you've got a brand new wooden surface that you're going to be able to chalk on once it dries, you guys. So don't think of your box frames as a one-time use. Unless it's something you really love, you know, if you absolutely love it, then that's totally fine. But if not, make sure you wax your surfaces, okay? Use that technique of spraying it down, scrape it off. Your board eraser is key, because the board eraser we actually created for any type of ghosting. Get it off the best you can. If it comes all the way off, super. If not... Here you go, you guys. You paint it. 
you paint your surface. Okay? You just paint your surface and you've got a brand new surface that you're going to be able to chalk on. Now, I would let this dry and I would I'm going to sand it because I'm a sanding crazy nut. But just like that, now you've got a brand new surface you're going to be able to chalk on with the box frames. Because we tell you, like I said, we tell you they are a one-time use, and they are, usually. But you just saw me take it off there, okay? So just wanted to show you that really quick and first and foremost before we actually do our design today. So isn't that cool? I might as well, no, that's all right. I was going to say I might as well use it, but whatever. So here is again, I'm going to be using one of our box frames today. Let me move this stuff out of the way. For this project, you will need a glue gun. Let me throw this over there. So let me turn him on. We are going to be doing the beautiful birdhouse transfer from Chalk Couture, you guys. So this is a C size transfer. It's actually part of a collection. We call them Chalk Stories, and this one is called the Feathered Friends Collection. All that is, is it is a collection of transfers that can, like, they can work together in a collage. You guys, all the directions are right on the back of each and every one of our transfers. <coughs> Sorry. Tells you how to prep, peel, fuzz, apply, remove, heat set, that's only for ink, and then clean up. You usually get anywhere from 8 to 10 uses out of one transfer, you guys. You clean them up with water. You wipe them down with a Clorox wipe. You let them air dry adhesive sides up. And then you put them right back on their carrier sheets to use again and again to create beautiful DIY home decor. Oh my goodness, you guys. Goodness, goodness. So I'm going to take these really amazing transfer cutter scissors. And I'm going to cut right along my cut lines that are given to us in the transfer already. All the guesswork is done for you, you guys. All the guesswork. So this is going to be the top piece, and this is going to be the bottom piece. Or no, I'm sorry. This is going to be the bottom, and then this is going to be the top piece, okay? So we are going to do some layering. So let me set this aside. Now the first thing I want to do is right on the back of my transfer. I hope this fits on here. I didn't even look. Oh, that would be bad. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Let me get my fuzzing cloth. I hope everyone's having a good Tuesday, you guys. Happy Tuesday. We're feeling a little better in the Jones house. Woo -woo. All right, taking my finger, I'm gonna rub it over the edge, flip this over and remove my carrier sheet from the transfer. And then I'm gonna fuzz this up. There's the adhesive side, you hear that? This one is super sticky, I can feel it already. So I did wax this surface. For those of you that are new, what is waxing? It is a min wax finishing paste. We also carry wax at Chalk Couture. It's just a little bit of wax that you stick on your surface, you wipe it on, you wipe off any excess, you let it dry, and it just it's easier on your transfers to pull them up, especially on a wooden surface. And especially if you have like raw wood, you guys, raw wood, oh, 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 oh. Raw wood, you definitely don't, you, you wanna make sure you wax and you don't wanna do what I just did. Woo! Uh, because you could get all those little thin strips of wood on the backs of your transfer. And that's another good thing Clorox wipes are for, by the way. All right, so I've got that down. And I'm gonna put this right on here where I want it. Oh, it fits nice in there, you guys. This is the nine by 12 box frame. Ooh, yeah, I like it. Like it, like it, you guys, totally. All right, so I think I'm going to, sorry about that. There are actually two little holes in here. I don't know if you guys can see them on our transfers. Do you see these little things right here? They are for you to line up your transfer when you're doing layering. So I'm just gonna, and this is what I wanted to show you too. Oh, I'm so out of practice, you guys. Oh, 
I'm going to fold down one of my corners so that it's easier to pull up when I'm done. My gosh, it's only been two days. Woo! All right, so I'm going to just fold down one of my corners. This way it's easier to pick up when I'm ready to peel up my transfer. All right, so I'm smoothing this out so there's no air bubbles in my silk screen. You guys, all the little distressing and everything is all done for you in this transfer. No weeding or anything involved, okay? So we are going to do... We're going to use our storm gray, our black, and then we're going to kind of distress it. You guys have seen me do this before where I make it look like it's rusty. So that is what we are going to do today for the birdhouse. Chalk paste, you guys, over 33 colors that we offer. We have everything from black to white to beautiful in vogue colors for the spring season. It is a yogurt sour cream consistency is what you want it to be. If it is not, you just add water. Water. Oh my goodness. Oh, this one's awesome too. Oh, real quick, you guys. I want to do this right now. I want to just say this, and I meant to do this when I first got on here. I have some of the most amazing VIP customers in my VIP group. Some have become great friends of mine. You guys are just amazing, amazing men and women in my VIP group. You guys, I, I can't say more than enough about you. So thank you for being a part of this with me. Thank you for being a part of this journey and everything. You guys are just all amazing. And I could not be here without you. And I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate you. So I wanted to say that when I first got on here. But I'm so worried that I'm going to cough that I'm sorry. But I just wanted to say, you guys rock. And if you guys are interested in being a part of my VIP group, give me a hashtag VIP below. As long as you are not a designer, we would love to welcome you in there. All right, you guys. Just using a small squeegee, not mini. This is our small squeegee. Oopsies. Made a mess there. And I'm scraping this across my silk screen. Okay. You apply pressure and you scrape it across. Can you hear that? Okay, I am applying pressure and scraping it across just like that, okay? Any excess you're gonna scrape off. You wanna try to get out any of those lines you have in your pattern. Excess goes back in your jar. Your squeegee is also reusable, but I need my little, I'm taking this little dabber brush instead of my finger this time around because I think it'll just be easier. And then I'm going to kind of dab, you guys. I'm just going to kind of dab this on there to kind of give it a distressed look. Okay? Just taking my dabber. I'm hoping it's going to go through. I usually do this with my finger, so I'm not quite sure. So this is just kind of one of those little brushes that you sponge paint with, that you get from your local craft stores. And I'm kind of just trying to add some dimension, okay? Like it's got, you know, like a metal. Hey, Marty, welcome. Feeling a little bit better, let's see. Oh, y'all, woo, I like it. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, check it out. You guys, that looks so good. Oh goodness, I like it. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Transfer is going to go in my water. Okay. Just putting that in my water. I will clean that up when we are done. And actually, let me make sure I didn't get my water deep enough, but that's okay. Oh, 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 you guys, it does. It looks good. It looks good. Check it out. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. So we need to dry. We dry this up. Ooh, I like it. Tracy, you guys, 
guys, I am feeling better, even though I sound weird. I just want to make sure it's dry. Look, it's not that dry yet. Not that dry. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Before we continue, I'm actually going to do a little bit of sanding. All right. So I'm going to just take sandpaper, you guys, because I want this to look distressed, okay? So I'm just hitting my corners of my frame, okay? We're not done yet, don't worry. It needs to dry anyway, and I'm going to do a little bit of sanding on here. But I'm just hitting my corners. Am I making you guys nauseous because I'm shaking the screen? Okay. Okay. Can you see that? Can you see how it gives it that nice weathered look? And then I'm actually gonna hit this a little bit as well. Oh, not so much. That was just a little too much, you guys. I'm just hitting this because I want it to be a little bit more distressed. And yes, I know I am taking chalk paste off. I'm totally okay with it. Okay. I want it to look that way. Oops. So I'm just hitting it with, I would probably get a different type of sandpaper than this one. I wish I had my sanding block, but I don't have it here out in the garage all right so that just distressed it a little bit more and how I wanted it okay all right so let me get all the dust off of here hold on one second you guys hold on hold on Cleaning this off over here so there's not all kind of sand. So I just sanded down. Hey, Jill, welcome my corners to give it a little bit more distressed look. I sanded in here. Again, I wanted to give my birdhouse a little distressed look. And like this, this was the little thing I used to give it that little extra touch. And now we're going to add this part. All right. So I just need my marker. And remember, I should have numbered them one and two. So I'm actually going to number this one two. And then I'm going to write on the front. Oh, it's already on there. Ha, ha, ha. I didn't see those. There's already a number on you to tell you this is the second part. Goodness gracious, I should look more care closely. Hi, Delyn. Welcome. Thanks, Tracy. Believe me, I am feeling so much better than what I was. If you guys would have seen me, you would have been like, oh, my. I still got the bags under my eyes, but... What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Jason gave it to me. I'm just saying. You all know he was sick first. So if you're watching Jason, it's your fault. Just saying. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, see, that's what happens. All right, fuzzing this up. Because we are layering, we want to make sure we have a nice fuzz on there. As you can see, my bottom layer is dry. Oh, welcome. Congrats on joining. That is awesome. All right, so I'm going to line this up. And as you can see, it fits very nicely over top, you guys. Now, I could have added those two little um, notches over here if I was doing this on something different if I needed to know exactly where this was go oh you signed with Jessica Miss Jessica Hine yay you are a part of our amazing dream chalkers I hope to see you on tonight's meeting at eight I hope you can make it we have a team meeting tonight for the dream chalkers enterprise you guys it's super fun we all get to talk together all right so i've got this where i think i want it It'll, i think it's going to be fine i feel like it's a little bit crooked but it's good all right 
So now I'm just going to take this and again, smooth it out. Now I'm only smoothing out where my silk screen is. Okay. I don't need to worry about all this other green and I want to make sure I get my corner. Remember, I'm going to get my corner and I'm just going to fold it down a little bit so that it's easier to pick up when I'm ready. Okay. Just like that. And again, I'm going to take my mini squeegee. So remember, oh, I'm glad you like that. Yay, Sandy. This is the small squeegee. This is the mini squeegee. Okay. We have several different squeegees, but just so you can see the size. So I'm just going to take this one because it's, it's a smaller area that I'm doing. And I'm just going to go across those silk screen areas, scraping off my excess, you guys. <clears throat> oh, my heavens to Betsy. And I made chicken noodle soup the other day. I think I told you guys I made it. And it is gone. Gone, gone. I could use some right now. I actually wanted my husband's chili. Jason makes really great chili. You can also use your finger, Michelle. You don't have to use that little um, dabber, the little spongy thing. Either way works. I just wanted to try it that way to see how I liked it, and it worked pretty good. It worked pretty good. All right, you guys. Squeegee's going to go in the water as well. And there goes my tissues. That's kind of not good. I'm going to make sure I get this transfer up before the chalk paste dries in my silk screen. Oh, wow. What? You guys, that looks so good. My little distressed bird housey looks so good. Okay, transfer is going into the water so we can clean it up when I'm done. Okay. One other thing, you guys, please do not leave your transfer sit in water overnight. If you do that, sometimes they can lose some of the adhesive. I recommend if you are able to, like as soon as I'm done, I always go and clean my transfers right away. Um, if for some reason you can't, just try not to leave them sit there overnight, okay? Oh my goodness. That was my hair dryer. Yeah, it was. Just broke the little front off right now. I think it looks super cute, you guys. Super, super cute. I'm just going to dry this up. Let me see if I can wrench that. good there all right so here is what we are gonna do I've got these little pegs look how you guys look how good that looks like it looks like it's a like a distressed birdhouse right give me some hearts and thumbs up if you totally think that does look distressed all right so these are just little pegs you can find these at your local craft store I actually cut these out of a wooden dial okay nothing fancy so I'm just going to put some hot glue on the end of these like this. Ooh, hey now. Hey, hey, hey. All right, I'm going to put these on my board. Right, we've got to give it some dimension. Okay, giving our birdie house some dimension. Just like that. We're not done yet, you guys. We are not done. I'm going to do one other little thing I want to show you guys. Like that. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. What would the world be without glue gun? Hi, Miss Patty. How are you? Hello, hello. I was telling everybody that um, our VIP group is the most amazing. Hi, Katrina. Welcome. The most amazing VIP group. You guys are just all super rock stars. And I just appreciate and love each and every one of you. 
I was telling them that. I don't know if you guys got that. All right, so this is the Messy Moss. Oh my gosh, you guys, you have no idea how much OCD I have going on right now because this moss is, is messy. Messy moss, messy moss. All right. Let me pull this garbage can right on over here because I can't get this apart right now. I'm trying to do this, all right? Heavens to Betsy. All right, let me see. Get some of that out of there. Okay. So then I'm going to take some more hot glue. I'm feeling, honestly, Patty, I am feeling like 90% better, which is really sad, even though I don't sound it. It was B-A-D bad, 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 bad. Right? We're just adding some moss right around the little birdie's nest, right? Because we all know birdies make a mess around their nest. Okay? Let's just go ahead and, and pull this apart right on this board and do what we got to do. Just do what we got to do right now. This is going to be so cute, you guys. So, so cute. A little birdhouse. Birdhouses are all over the place right now for spring, you guys. If you have been to any of the local stores, I mean all over. And now you can create your own cute little thing. I think I'm going to trim some of this up here shortly. Let's go to the next one. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. I look like I'm a hot mess. Make sure you tell people I'm really not this much of a hot mess when I'm doing a project, right? It's creating. That's what happens when you're crafty crafters. Oh, my goodness. And your nose is running. And you can't control it. It's craziness. Crazy. All right. Yeah, that was a little hot. Okay. All right. So now, got my moss on there. Okay. Let me dump some of the excess off because there's a lot of excess on there. And then I'm actually just going to take my scissors, you guys, and I'm going to trim it up a little bit. Okay. I know bird houses are messy, but you can always trim up your moss. Okay. So that you can at least see the birdhouse, where they're at, right? I'm just going to trim some of that up. And then I'm going to dump that right in the garbage. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? Okay. So, that's one part. That's part one. I thought this would be a really cute addition to this. So, let me clean off this moss a little bit. Sorry, this is a little longer one tonight for you guys. And it's only one more piece. We only got one more little thing to do. So, let me just clean this up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't want moss on my next part. All right, we're going to set this aside. Do you guys love it? Isn't that cute? I think it looks so good and doesn't it look like it's distressed a little bit like like it's um metal right okay so next we are gonna make a cute little gift tag to go with it and I have absolutely no idea what I did with my gift tag that I had already painted for you guys which is kind of not funny Oh my gosh, it's right in front of me. Right in front of me. All right, so you guys, we sell these gift tags in a set of six. Um, same exact gift tag. All I did was paint it, okay? All I did was paint it with black chalk paint. We do have a set 
we do have a oops a transfer that does go with it as you can see right here but before i do that you guys know what i'm going to do i'm going to sand i am sanding okay so i am just going to hit this with my sandpaper you guys it's what i do sorry i'm a sander i like when things look distressed and it's really just about hitting the edges and the corners when you want things distressed, okay? Just like that, all right? Easy peasy. Let me get a Clorox wipe since I ran out of paper towels up here so that I can clean this off because we don't want any of that excess dirt or anything around. This is actually, this mat that you see under here, you guys, we actually sell this mat as to, mat, this mat too. It is a self-healing mat, so like if you happen to use a razor blade on it, as long as you don't cut through it, it's like self-healing, I guess. I love this thing because whenever I get paint on it, it comes right up, just like that. All right, so now I want to get a paper towel. I got to use a Kleenex for my little thing here. I'm just wiping him off, okay? So there is my cute little tag, you guys. Once again, this is called our homespun tag transfer. It goes with these tags. So I just pulled a Matthew, it's good. He's in his room sleeping. I have to wake him up at six o'clock. He must've went to bed last night, just saying. All right, so I'm gonna cut on these cut lines that they provide for us with these amazing transfer cutter scissors. You guys know all about these sitters. They have a nice Teflon coating um, because we do have adhesive on our transfers. In addition to that, you guys, they have a really comfortable handle, which is amazing. And anybody left or right-handed can use them, which is awesome. All right, so I am going to use, I don't know which one I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use this first. So the first thing I'm gonna do is again, I think I showed you guys this the other day. Instead of writing the name, I'm going to write the number one on the front and a number one on the transfer itself or on the back. So this way I know which, which um, carrier sheet will go with what transfer. And then I'm going to do a two on this one because I think this is the one I'm doing. Yeah, I think. We'll see. All right, so. Again, taking my finger, rubbing it over the edge. Do not pick at your corners, you guys. You will pick them apart. I've seen it happen one time too many. Fuzzing up my transfer. And it would have been smart if I'd have got my chalk paste for this one. I'm gonna use white. Let me stir that up. I wish they still made these jars, but they don't. These, it's only came in, in the black, white, and storm. They're, they're just a nice, really large size jar. We Our jars are all three ounce jars like this, so they don't come in the big ounce. But this is the size jar you get. And let me tell you, they last forever. I can't even tell you how long I've had like some of my jars. All right, nice yogurt sour cream consistency. We are good to go. I'm gonna take this. And let me see, I'm not gonna do the whole thing. Let me see, I'm, not, I'm trying to figure out which is gonna be easier for me to figure out where I want it. Since I'm not doing the whole thing, I'm just gonna go like this. So once I got it on there, just again, smoothing it out so there's no air bubbles. Oops. Nope, I don't have it on right. You can reposition, you guys, if you need to. Absolutely. So if you put it somewhere you don't like it, pull it back up. That's why I say fold down your corner sometimes. Okay. Don't like where that one is. Right, Sandy? I just think the numbers work a lot better. Okay, smooth it out. And by the way, the birdhouse, I actually have a bundle 
in my VIP group for the birdhouse. It's with a different surface, but I do have a bundle in there. If you are interested, just give me a hashtag VIP and I will get you that link to our VIP group where everybody is super amazing in there. Super amazing. Lots of fun stuff goes on in there. Lots of great people sharing their creations. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Jackie, if you end up watching this video later, Jackie sent me a private message of something she created and I was like, oh, holy cow. It was gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. So I've got that on there. I'm going to peel that up. Look how pretty, you guys. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. You guys, I need more room. I totally need more room. Okay, let me dry this. Yay! As long as you guys are not designers, I would love to welcome you in there. It is going to ask you two questions when you join. One of them is if you are a designer. Um, because we're not allowed to have other designers in our VIP groups, you guys. I'm sorry. So I would love to welcome you. You should have gotten a message to give you the link right to my VIP group. Hope to see you in there. Again, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. All right, so I think I'm just going to do the word home because this is a birdhouse, right? And it's the birdie's home. So I'm just writing on the front and back there. I am going to fuzz this up again. You guys love our fuzzing cloth. They are great for cleaning as well. Holy cow, I've got hot glue all over me. Hot glue. All right. I'm going to put the word home right in the center. Okay. And these little gift tags are great. Not only, like, they're accent pieces. You can put them right on candle holders. They look great just hanging. If you do tiered trays, they look amazing on tiered trays. <coughs> they are like a great little accent piece, you guys. And I'm, I apologize again for that cough. It is awful. Awful, awful, awful. Check it out, you guys. I just did a word with no weeding on there. Look how cute that tag is. Isn't that adorable? I love it. Love it. Okay. I'm going to get my string. You guys know my drill with my string. I fold it in half. I put it through the hole, just like that. And then I take my ends and I put it through that circle, like that. And then, you know what I'm gonna do next, don't ya? Don't ya! Oh my gosh, Jason's gonna come out at here soon and be like, oh, she done, honey? What's for dinner? All right, I'm just getting a piece of tape for the edge, just like this. And I'm doing this because I'm gonna add some beads, okay? And it's just easier for me to do this when I'm putting beads on. Okay, so I kinda twist it tight, like a little twisty tie, and it just makes it easier for me to add the beads, and then I'll cut that off, okay? So just use tape on the end. Just like that. Oh my gosh, Jason's still coughing. Jason's actually still not, I think he's still worse than I am. It's craziness. Okay, almost done you guys, almost done. Don't forget also, if you are a Club Couture member, it is $19.99 a month to be a Club Couture member you guys. Um, you get an exclusive transfer each and every month, but for the month of um, February, which you guys have, what, five days left, including today, 
you get 20% off of all your chalk paste when you order online as a Club Couture member. But look at this, you guys. Look how cute. Like if you add this to the edge, like something like that, you don't even have to have three of them on there. You could only have two and it'd be super cute, right? Let me actually take one off. And then I'm just going to tie a knot at the end. And then what I would do is I would just kind of attach it like right there with some hot glue. Isn't that cute? Just a little accent piece. I mean, you could even put it down here if you wanted. Something like that. You could put it at the bottom. You could put it at the top. You could just give this to somebody as an accent piece to, you know, maybe this is a housewarming gift, something like that. I just thought it would be super cute with it. Kind of goes with the color combination. I like it. But I hope you guys love this. Like I said, this was our box wood frame. This is our birdhouse transfer. I did this in black and storm. And then these are our homespun tags with the homespun tag transfer in your black and white, you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. You're welcome to check everything out online that we do have to offer at chalkinwithjen.com. You can check everything out. And I hope to see you over in my VIP group with all those amazing people that are in there. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday evening. And I'll be talking with you soon, guys. Have a good night.